Hi everybody, this is Joanne. And when I was a teen, not only was I a professional model, but I also happened to teach at a finishing school. And a finishing school is where we train young men and women to become ladies and gentlemen. Now most of us think of a lady and gentleman as someone who knows which fork to use at a restaurant. And yes, we taught that. But overall, being a lady and a gentleman means that people will always be comfortable around you because you are well-mannered and considerate, which does not mean you're a doormat, but it does mean you know how to speak politely and deal with issues as they come up in such a way that everyone's always uh, going to appreciate your presence. Today's book, while not being officially a science book has a lot of science peppered throughout and it has to deal with politeness in society and the book is called I See Rude People One Woman's Battle to Beat Some Manners into Impolite Society by Amy Alcon. Amy is the advice goddess and she has a syndicated column and has been on TV many times for her expertise, her offering advice to people for various situations. This book is essentially a string of multiple scenarios that Amy has lived through herself and how she managed to deal with them in very unique ways um, from which, which extend from her car being stolen and how she got it back and got recompense um, to dealing with rude children and people who talk on their cell phone loudly and rudeness on the internet which of course we know is rampant if you ever read the comments section of almost anybody's blog. Um, so why is this book a science book? Well Amy was not content just uh, listing her scenario. She wanted to understand why do people behave this way and what benefits are there in for us to behave politely or are there benefits in being rude? So she dug around into the fields of anthropology and psychology and behavioral science as well as sociology to help understand these things. And because of that, um, that is why I can recommend this book from a scientific perspective because she does bring this information up. When I had a chance to speak with Amy on the phone, I asked her what was the most interesting thing you discovered when you were uh, researching uh, for this book. And as it turns out, it was the thing I found most interesting, is that um, our brains have evolved to deal with, it seems like, about a maximum of 150 people, which would have been the size of a tribe uh, in ancient times. And um, some uh, businesses even use that approach that after 100 pe 150 people, uh, the ability to communicate and relate well starts to break down. Um, and so this has implications in how we behave in a society where everyone's increasingly more uh, surrounded by other people. Uh, for these reasons, I am recommending this book. I found it very engaging. And in fact, by the end of the book, I almost didn't want it to end. But then to sort of a shock and horror, I realized, oh, but if this book continued on, it meant she would have had more um, sort of tough scenarios to deal with. So I went, oh, well, I'll be happy with what she has presented here. It was a very good book, and I am highly recommending I See Rude People by Amy Alcon. All right, thanks. Bye.